the last pronoun, the possessive pronoun. To repeat for the last time, we remember that the pronoun represents the noun standing on its own and referring to a particular person or object. So therefore in English, the, pro the pronoun derived from my car would be mine, referring of course to the car. And in Kosa this works as follows. Examples using the possessive stems and on the right the possessive pronoun. Take note of the vowel highlighted in lighter blue. Umsebenzi wam, my work, owam, mine. Wako, your work, owako, yours. Umsebenzi wake, his or her work, owake, his or hers. Umsebenzi wetu, our work, owetu, ours. Moving on to the next set, using Indlu as the noun. Again, now note this particular highlighted vowel. Indlu yam, my house. Eyam is mine. Indlu yako is your house. Eyako, eyako is yours. Indlu yake is his or her house. Eyake is his or hers. Moving down to the bottom. Indlu ya bo is their house. Eya bo is theirs. Okay. O there. E there. And a clue. U there. And i there. We'll talk more about that towards the end of the video. Amagama am my names. Awam mine. Amagama ako your names. Awako yours. Amagama e to our names. A we to ours. Amagama abo their names. Awabo theirs. And here we have a as our highlighted vowel and a as the initial vowel there. So now let's chat about those vowels. What has happened is, is that the first vowel of the noun in question, the U or the E or the A, has merged with A, giving us O, E and A. Okay, so we can't have A, um. In other words, we would then go back to that particular form of the word, um and therefore the two A's have to be separated by means of a W. The personal pronoun derived from a noun. Okay, here we are using a noun in the possessive form and there on the right again is the possessive pronoun. Note once more the highlighted vowel and the initial vowel of the noun in question, the possession. Umsebenzi wom fundi o wom fundi. Umsebenzi wabantu, the people's work, o wabantu. Indlu yom fazi, the woman's house, e yom fazi. Indlu yaba zali, the parents' house, e yaba zali, that of the parents. Ikhaya lomduana, the child's home, e Lomduana. Upasla Luenlu, the roof of the house, or Luenlu, that of the house. And so we could carry on with the remaining examples. Let's look at the possessive pronoun naming the owner. Once more, the same rule applies, namely, that if you look at the first vowel of the noun, which is actually the possession, and the first vowel here, highlighted, we get the following. Umsibenzi katata, my dad's work. O katata, a and u is o. Imoto kamama, mom's car. Eka mama, that belonging to mom. 
ikhaya likathemba themba them e li ka themba that belonging to themba looking at the possessive pronoun with links we are going to go through and with and about location and identifying okay and would use na so yam becomes e yam and na ne yam mine as well e to belonging to us awe to ours nawe to ours as well isichitlo sendlu belonging to the house that of the house or the houses nesendlu and that of the house so because the possessive pronoun already begins with a vowel we only need or use the n of na using hanga meaning with or about imoto yam my car e yam mine nge yam with mine umsebenzi wakho your work owakho yours ngowakho about yours imali ka themba themba's money eka themba themba's that belonging to themba nge ka themba with that belonging to themba and once more because we already have a vowel here we only require the ng using ku in lu yam my house e yam mine kwe yam in mine ku e yam kwe yam umlomo wako your mouth o wako yours ko wako in yours remember we cannot we cannot have a k w o in isitlosa Imoto katata, dad's car, e katata, that belonging to dad, the pronoun, kwe katata, in dad's, referring to the car, of course. Using the identifying link, that would be the link which you would use in front of the noun. So looking at the first example, ingwadi yam, my book, e yam, mine, ye yam, it is mine. So in other words, if you put the Y in front of Ingwadi, you would say it is a book. Yingwadi. Now we say use that Y there and becomes Ye Yam Mine. Umsuden Zwake, his work. Owake, that of him. Ngowake, it is his. So we would have said Ngumsibenzi, therefore Ngowake. A different link for every group of nouns. Ingwadi Zomfundi the books of the student Ezomfundi that of the student Ze Zomfundi they are or they belong to the student. Izi Chito Zika Zola Zola's keys Ezika Zola those belonging to Zola and we would have said Zizi Chito and we use that Z there and we have ze zi kazola they belong to zola that concludes this video and also the pronouns in as a whole a quiz will follow in course